Welcome back to the KCBD Sports Texas Tech preseason special. Joining me now, the publisher of Inside the Red Raiders, Jarrett Johnson. Jarrett, first give us your thoughts on this season. A lot of excitement, a lot of new things going on with Red Raider football. Yeah, first off, Pete, thanks for having me on, man. It's always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, there is a lot going on with Texas Tech football. Obviously, a new coaching staff. Coach Joey McGuire bringing in a lot of excitement, enthusiasm. Uh, you know, you had the NIL deal announced for the players, which was amazing uh, for them. You had the new facilities upgrade. Uh, there's just been so, so many new things going on, Big 12 realignment and conference realignment in general going on. So a lot of excitement. I think expectations have been raised by the, the improved season last year and then all the excitement with the new coaching staff coming in. Well, let's break down the offense. Let's start with the quarterbacks. And man, it's a three headed monster. You got three guys who can get in there and get the job done. Yeah, I truly like all three of them. And I do think Texas Tech can win with all three quarterbacks. You have Tyler Shuck, 6'5, 230. He has an NFL arm. Uh, I believe he's been clocked at a 4-7 in the 40, so you know he can run. He could throw on the run. Donvis Smith, he came in last year, won a couple of really big games for you. That upset of Iowa State that made you bowl eligible. And then, really, he dismantled Mississippi State in the bowl game, so you know he could get it done. And he adds a, a power running element uh, to the quarterback position. And then there's Baron Morton, the young gunslinger, the redshirt freshman, one of the highest rated recruits that Texas Tech has signed and brought in in the modern recruiting uh, era. He does a little bit of everything. I think he's the best at throwing on the run he's more of the the risk taker the chance taker but like I said before all three are good quarterbacks and I think you can win a lot of football games with all three quarterbacks then you move to the running backs and man you got two great guys of course Taj Brooks and Sir Roderick Thompson uh, Cam Valdez I yes. mean a lot of good guys who can run the ball on this air raid offense yeah truly a loaded position at running back for Texas Tech this year which is kind of weird Considering Zach Kidley comes in with, with a type of air raid offense, you, you expect him to throw the ball around, and I think they will. But to have a Sir Roger Thompson, who I believe his fifth career in all time at Texas Tech in, in rushing touchdowns already going into this season, Taj Brooks, who uh, was really good when he, wasn't, when he was healthy last year, and then Cam Valdez as the young guy coming up, brings a uh, more of a speedy back, a, a home run threat. Uh, and then there's a true freshman I really like in Bryson Donnell, who I think, uh, if given an opportunity, will shine. I think he's ready to go. Then, of course, with we, Texas Tech has been wide receiver university. Yes, yes. You think of Miles Price, but there are a lot of good guys who can get in there and catch the ball. Yeah, I love Miles Price. I think he's going to have a huge year. He had a good year last year. I think he's poised for a breakout year. Slot receiver in the air raid type op offenses, Zach Kittley's offense are set up to shine. So I think Miles Price will have a big year. Uh, there's several guys. Duran Bradley's the guy I'm really focusing on. He almost 6'5". He actually dropped down some ways a little quicker uh, this going into this season. I think uh, he could have a Big 12 caliber season if given the opportunity and, and he's healthy. J.J. Uh, Sparkman, 6'4", 220. I think he can do a lot of things. Uh, Trey Cleveland has moved inside of the slot. I think that's going to help. I think that's probably a better position for him. Uh, Xavier White, one of the smoothest players, local, local uh, player, local product. I expect him to have a good year in, in the slot as well. Chadarius Townsend moved from receiver to running back. Another speed guy. He transferred in from Alabama, was a former four-star recruit. Uh, Loic Fungi, 6'4", 220. Uh, he probably has the highest ceiling of all the receivers. So a lot of people have kind of questioned these young receivers, but I actually think they're loaded at that position once again. Maybe the biggest concern on the offensive side is the line. Your thoughts on that? There's no doubt. That's what I focused on. I don't know, I've probably been a 20 plus practices this offseason, and that's what I've given, devoted my, all my attention to almost. Uh, because there's so many new faces, they have good numbers, but they, they don't have proven guys at the position other than a Caleb Rogers and a Western Wright, two returning starters. Uh, Cade Briggs was brought in from New Mexico to help solidify the center position. That'll be interesting to see uh, if he's able to do that. Cole Spencer's been out all offseason. He came in from Western Kentucky, played for Zach Kitley and offensive line coach Stephen Hamby there at Western Kentucky and did a good job, but he ha we haven't seen him yet. So, it, you know, how is this offensive line going to shake out? And to me, that's going to determine the ceiling, perhaps not just for the offense, but maybe for the whole team. And then what are your thoughts on Zach Kitley and what he's going to bring uh, each and every Saturday for the Red Raiders? Yeah, I, I think he's great. He's one of the 
He's known around the country, not just here locally by us, but has one of the brightest young minds, offensive minds in the game. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, Inside of the Red Raiders is part of 24-7 Sports, that network. He was the national offensive coordinator of the year last year at Western Kentucky. So that's how highly he's thought of nationally. And I can't wait to see what he, he does with all these weapons he has. Well, when we come back, we will look on the defensive side and break it down for you. The KCBD Texas Tech preseason special returns right after this.